All right, hello everyone. This is Critic giving you another map review from the Playtest Realm 1.2.1. This is map three in the 1v1 map pool. Now, like some of the other maps that I've already shown you before, this is going to be a four player and a four spawning location 1v1 player map. There are four spawning locations, one on every corner of the map, but this map will play very, very differently just because of the sheer number of walking pads that are available so um just to go go ahead and give you a quick note and i did spawn over here and i was just trying to play it out see exactly how this game would play you have a decent sized starting area and it's also very difficult to hide any um cannons or any gateways inside this base so proxy rushing um inside the base not going to be that popular um it may be it may become an issue though later on um, just because there are a lot of different walkways and a lot of different pathways and a lot of places to hide units and buildings. More on that later. Um, your natural expansion is directly outside your front door, but a, a kind of far away from your ramp. So Zerg players may actually find it very, very difficult and they may want to thumbs down this map just because it, it takes longer to transfer your queen over. Um, you're going to see as soon as the queen walks off from this location, it's going to walk very, very slowly. And then after it walks down this ramp, it still has to walk a good amount of distance before it gets next to the hatchery over here. And because of that, um, you're, you may find yourself um, losing your queen as it's getting sniped in transition. Be very, very careful about that. If you lose your queen early on, um, you know how that sets back your production, your macro, um, and your tech, all just because you weren't able to um, transfer that queen over very, very successfully. Now directly outside your front door this is what i'll call the the middle ground off of your high ground expansion and the after the middle ground your middle ground actually has three separate entrances a rather very wide front door here and then a back a set of back door rocks that lead you directly into your um into your expansion and then there's also another set of rocks that was right here and let me take a look at yeah, and another set of rocks that is right here that leads directly into this expansion location here. So this it, it is possible to take up a third base. It should be pretty easy depending on where your opponent spawns. Since this is just a 1v1 map, if, if you and your opponent spawn close to each other like this, it may be very beneficial to take down these rocks in order to set up your low ground, your third expansion here as a Zerg player, as opposed to trying to um, take or as opposed to trying to take a, these set of rocks here or anything else. The third, you're, there are many, just many, many options for a third base. I mean, you can set, you can destroy any set of destructible rocks and have easy access or relative easy access to another set of minerals. Now the center location has um, gold mineral patches and this is going to become a very, very big sticking point as we've seen what's, um, you know, central walkways gold mineral patches does for Terran. Terran players are going to be able to easily put planetary fortresses here and also get a lot of damage in. The problem though is that because of the sh a sheer number of walkways that even if you have a planetary fortress here, if your opponent decides to try to come up your back door here, um, he, he can very easily take it. Another thing that separates this map is these kind of weird plateaus in the middle of nowhere. Um, it kind of protects your natural expansion, but it also offers a high ground area for you to defend your expansion. Terran players may try to siege up it, but because of the two ramps, one down here and one over here as well, on both, both the north, south, east, and west side of this map, and Zerglings are going to be able to easily rip through those siege tanks and and prevent any and any real proper clifting. It's probably going to be more used as a defensive measure, as Terran players are going to be able to put siege tanks here and here, be able to watch this choke point or put a siege tank here, watch this choke point, put siege tanks here, watch this choke point as well, and offer double protection. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this map review. The, um, this map, um, you know, set on the blistering sands tile set. Um, I do like it. One cause of concern that I currently have, though, is are these two centers of Naga Watchtowers. The brush is actually a little bit different on the south side versus the north side. You can see that the north side 
and it, it just uh, it appears to have a lot more brush coverage and because of that your siege tank can actually blast up onto the onto the ramp here and also get some of the ramp over here as well um, as a Terran player but on the on this side of the map um, your siege tanks are pretty far away from that ramp when trying to get into that brush and then if, even from here you cover just a little bit of it as well so there is some irregularities in in terms of the symmetry on this map perhaps this is part of the um, public test round beta so it may get fixed I don't even know if Davey watches any of my replays but I, I'm pretty sure that Davey designed this map as Davey and David Kim is the one that designed the majority of the the latter maps so far on Blizzard. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Map 3 on the public test realm doesn't have an official name yet, but um, I am excited to start playing some high level games and trying to cast some games on these maps and trying to see new strategies develop as the map pool has gotten pretty stale lately. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.